Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a love and relationship reading for Gemini from the 13th to the 26th of May 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, please go to my website jessma.co.uk and book a reading. And please don't forget to watch my deck review series as well as my simple energy healing remedy videos that I have been putting out. You'll find those interesting. I've also put the decks that I'm using in the description box, so have a look. And like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with a general energy read and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. Okay, so you are longing for something better um, to come into your life and you are now trying to plan your future and have a strategy. You may have recently gone through a divorce, so you are getting back on track again and trying to come up with a plan on how to move forward. You have gone through a lot of drama. There's been too much of drama and you have been looking for a sense of security, emotional security and stability. Uh, maybe everything was upside down for you and you know you are trying to get your balance back again. Now you need to have faith that everything is going to work out and try not to get yourself back into some kind of codependent relationship. You may have been involved in a codependent relationship. Maybe you uh, gave that person too much of credit uh, and too much of control in your life. Uh, so have faith that everything is going to work out and turn out for the better um, and, uh, you know, try and be positive and move on. So these are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be drawing some cards from the uh, Romantic Tarot. I have shuffled this deck. Okay, um, so you might have been dealing with a fire sign person. You've got this knight, um, sorry, the king of uh, rods here. So this person might have been a bit of a bully and, you know, they were very controlling and they were really somebody that really didn't give much uh, or pay much attention to you or didn't really care much for what your feelings were. They were uh, very, very uh, bossy, uh, very, very much an um, authority, authoritarian kind of person and it seems like you know they were only interested in themselves so a very kind of selfish energy that you have been dealing with in the past you see this man's relaxing smoking his cigar there not really very concerned with anybody else so this is the energy that you seem to be dealing with at the moment now you've made a lot of sacrifices and maybe you felt like uh, in this relationship uh, you know you're almost being tortured in it you are very chained up in it uh, maybe a little bit codependent as well and you know um, you've all also felt very very out of balance things seem to be a little bit of a standstill over here not moving forward and you're feeling a little bit stuck um, you might be you know ending that commitment you had made to this particular person this is also getting some advice from somebody around you uh, somebody giving you some support uh, maybe emotional support maybe religious support but you are seeking advice from somebody to deal with whatever the circumstances is this is also maybe getting some kind of legal support as well uh, to deal with whatever it has been going on but right but right now you felt like you made a lot of sacrifices uh, you know you were treated really badly within that relationship um, and you uh, you know, you're trying to move on, but, uh, you know, things are not moving fast enough. There might be some obstacles, some delays going on over there. Now, you've got the Ten of Pentacles over here, so this is an ending to something. So it looks like there was a divorce. Maybe this particular person did a lot of things behind your back that you didn't know. They were also very controlling. You see this man's tying her apron for her. Um, there was a, a strong financial 
a tie with this particular person. So you might have had joint finances or you were reliant on them financially as well. Um, but it seems like that particular relationship has now come to an end. And it looks like you've gone through a divorce. You've got this Queen of um, Swords over here. And this is the divorcee of the um, Tarot or somebody that's had that legal separation. It looks like you're very, very heartbroken. There was a lot of betrayal. But there was a lot of uh, uh, words spoken between you and this particular person. There's a lot of control issues going on over here. But this person is pretty nasty. And they said a lot of things that hurt you pretty deeply as well. Um, but you're trying to get over it at this particular moment. You Maybe you've uh, broken off communication or cut them out of your life right now. Uh, you know, you're not making any kind of contact. You're trying to stand back and uh, heal from this particular situation. You've got the temperance card over here. So trying to find yourself all over again. Uh, maybe people have been making some kind of offers to you, but you're ignoring them. You're hiding your feelings a little bit as well, but crying a lot behind the scenes. But you are coming to terms with things and you're trying to heal from the situation. So going into the future, you've got the... Um, King of Pentacles over here. Now this is you uh, taking back your control and focusing back on your work, focusing back on your career and focusing on your money really and trying to get yourself established. Now from this particular situation, if it's a divorce, you might get even get a settlement coming in from that and uh, that's going to make you quite financially independent as well. Now there's still a lot of drama going on around you, maybe you and this person, or maybe this person's stirring up a lot of problems for you and causing a lot of problems behind the scenes. They might be doing this, uh, maybe, you know, um, causing people to uh, go against you, uh, but you are facing a lot of challenges. So whatever is going on, uh, you're in the midst of, uh, you know, a difficult situation. So you are waiting for a legal decision to come through. So this is probably the ending of that divorce or waiting for the divorce settlement to come through. Um, there's a breakdown of communication between you and this particular person. You are on the defensive over here, but you are waiting for that legal decision to be made. And it looks like, you know, it's going to go in your favor. It looks like there's going to be a settlement from it. Now, what you want, you are looking for, uh, you know, somebody that's going to be emotionally supportive. You might even be uh, planning on getting some kind of professional uh, advice or counseling uh, with regards to you know your em emotions you might be uh, you know planning on seeing a psychiatrist or somebody as a doctor uh, because this is the king of cups but you're also looking for that emotional support from somebody um, you know um, who understands you and this could be even a father figure that you are getting on some sort of support from so going into the future you've got that six of rods the five of cups and uh, the eight of swords so the six of rods is victory after a lot of difficulties, a lot of power struggle, a lot of fighting. This is moving away from a, a particularly difficult situation. After feeling very, very trapped within that relationship, you are moving towards your freedom now. So you are going to be victorious in this uh, scenario. If you're fighting legal battles, it will all go in your favor and you, know, you will get your freedom as well. Uh, you will not feel so caged, it seems. Um, there's, uh, you know, there will be some kind of legal battle that you will be fighting. You might have been, uh, you know, the, uh, with this five of cups over here, uh, there might have been a third party situation that was going on and there's still a lot of drama. But with the five of cups, it's also feeling a bit of regret and uh, disappointment and, uh, you know, f uh, feeling as though you've been let down. But in this situation also, there, there it looks like there is a, there's some kind of final battle to be fought over here and it might involve a third party situation and uh, you know there's a lot of drama going on over there it seems so you've got that eight of swords over here still feeling very very trapped you know you're still mourning the loss of this relationship maybe whatever this person has said to you has disempowered you put you and brought you down to your knees um, and you're still focused on that heartbreak and hurt that you went through all the different tower moments that you went through with this person uh, you can't seem to get your mind off it you know, there's a lot of anxiety uh, and distress that's still uh, going on because of this relationship. It seems like there's somebody there in the background that is, um, you know, interested in you and wants to pursue a relationship with you. But right now you're very focused on whatever, getting over this relationship. You're still uh, feeling very, uh, maybe low self-esteem here in this case. You need to actually realize that people are still, you know, you're still attractive and people still find you attractive and they are still interested in having some kind of relationship with you. And you need to think positively and walk away from the situation. You need to end it and move away because there seems to have been a lot of drama that has gone along. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's still going. It still seems to be ongoing here with five of um, rods. So you need to let it go and walk away from it. 
So I'm just drawing some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. Oh, there's a lot of... Okay, so you've got the Five of Michael over here, which says this situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome and consider taking a more uplifting approach. So this is the Five of Swords, and you can see, uh, you know, there was a lot of betrayal and lies, and um, it doesn't serve you. You do need to release uh, your attachment to it. You need to move away, and you, it seems like you will. And this is the Six of Michael, so this is coming after the Five. Um, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or traveling. So you are moving away from that situation. It looks like there'll be an end, a legal ending to whatever happened and it looks like that will release you from the situation and you will move out of the dark and into the light so away from all the drama here and into much calmer uh, waters or calmer uh, situation and you've got new beginnings over here so starting a new life finding your purpose forgiving and compassionate review of the past so it looks like you are moving on and you will be making a new fresh start after a legal ending to a very difficult situation so I hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.